But what I want to talk to you about now is something really, really exciting in the world of technology. It's called the Internet of Things. And what this ultimately means is the internet doesn't just exist on the internet anymore. It exists in everyday objects that you can control with your smartphone or your tablet or via an application via the web. So things are getting really sophisticated. So what we're seeing now is the ability to control a myriad of appliances, your ovens, your refrigerators, your washing machines, your light bulbs, all from the comfort of your smartphone or tablet. And the beauty of these things is it basically takes out all the hard work of doing switching on a light or maybe switching on your coffee machine and just gives you, delivers that efficiency into your life. Just maybe you're a bit busy, you don't have time to keep track of everything. These gadgets can take care of you and ensure that life is just a little bit more efficient. Talking of which, I want to talk to you about LG Home Chat. Now this is something that's not actually available at the moment here in the UK, but fingers crossed it does make it here. And the reason why I want to talk to you about it is because it's just a great indication as to how sophisticated technologies go. We're so used to texting our friends and family. Imagine being able to text your appliances. You don't need to use special language. You can use conversational language with this thing. You can basically send a text message to the Hombot, which is LG's version of the robotic vacuum. You can tell it to clean a certain room of the house. It will then tell you what mode do you want it to go in. You then text back, I want you to do a spot clean. So by the time you get home, the robot's done its thing. It's texted back. Bit cheeky, it will say, I'll make sure your, your floors are nice and polished. And by the time you get home, it's locked. The hallway, your living room, or wherever, wherever you set this thing to clean is basically clean. But it's not just about the robot vacuum, there's a refrigerator that works with this service as well. So, this clever refrigerator has a camera built into the on the inside of the fridge. So, if you text your fridge and you say, Do I need any more milk? Have I run out of beer? It will take a photo in real time of what's in the fridge and then send that photo to you so you know whether you need to get more milk or not. Now you can take this to a slightly higher level of sophistication. When you go shopping, you can catalogue the items that you bought so the fridge knows what's in it, so it knows when things are going to expire. It will send you text messages to let you know you need to top up the milk or maybe the butter or something like that. It's very clever and just a great way to kind of inject a bit of conversational language into the way that we interact with our appliances. And you don't have to text it. Sometimes it will text you and ask you, do you want me to do a spot clean? Or, you know, do you want a rundown of what's in the fridge? Or maybe the washing machine. It's that clever that it can basically understand the text message. If you say, there's something in this wash load with a really heavy, deep-rooted stain, it will then work out the best way to get rid of that stain, make a suggestion by a text message, and then you can say yes or no, and then it will go and start cleaning your clothes. Very sophisticated. It is gimmicky. Now, I um, actually saw this working in South Korea, and it is really quick. You text the vacuum, it is off within the next 10, 15 seconds. It really is that sophisticated. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this technology actually makes it here to the UK because it's quite cool. Now, something that is synonymous with the Internet of Things and controlling everything from your smartphone and tablet is this. This is the Philips Hue light bulbs. So I'm not going to set them up. So I haven't set them up, namely because in the NEC there are a million connections going around. It simply just won't work here. What you're looking at here are internet connected light bulbs. They fit into any traditional screw and socket around the house. You don't need a special lamp or a special connector. And this here is the bridge that you need to connect to your router at home. And once you've connected these to Wi-Fi, downloaded the application, you're good to go. So now you're probably wondering why would I need inter internet connected light bulbs? Well, you can control the lights remotely. Let's say you're on holiday and you want to give the impression that you're, not that you're at home, even though you're sunning yourself somewhere exotic. At a simple tap of a button, the lights come on in whatever room you retain that button press to. Um, and it's not just about security. You can adjust the hue, you can adjust the ambient light, you can adjust the color. You can match the color of the light bulbs to photos you have in your camera roll as well. So it's all about customizing the lighting in your house as and how you want. So you can control the brightness of it as well. You can send up photos of the timers. So it's not just about doing it remotely. You don't want to go into the application. You don't want to go into the application and then trigger it manually. You can make sure that you need to get going as well. Here we go. Now there are loads of presets you can get with these as well. So the 90 shades of white, it sounds like a rubbish version of that book, but you know what I'm talking about. But loads of presets as well, so you know you get an orange tinged sky, a blue sky maybe, or you know you want something dark and ominous. It's completely up to you, they're actually customisable. But what I love about the Geo, what I love about the Hue even, is the Geo fencing technology that it's got built into them as well. So using the GPS in your smartphone, 
The technology built into these light bulbs are clever enough to know when you're in the vicinity of your home because you've set up a geofence. It knows you live here, it knows you're up the road, it will register that you're in the vicinity and the lights turn on. So by the time you get home, the lights are on, everything is warm and you don't come into a dark house. Now imagine you've coupled that with a robot vacuum, your oven that you can switch on by your smartphone, all this other automated technology and everything can just be on and switched on by the time you get home. It is really, really quite cool. Now Philips have extended the range, I'm just going to show you these quickly. So this is, <coughs> show you the picture. This is the Hubion. Now this doesn't actually have bulbs in it, but it has a dual lighting system. The idea being, at the top, you can customise whatever colour you want, and at the bottom you've got an ambient white glow. Again, just a way to introduce a bit of customisable lighting into your living area. And there's also this. This is the blue. Something that's designed to really complement the Hue light bulbs, unlike the Beyond, which is designed to be a standalone product. Something like this and the light strips provide ambient lighting. Again, that you can control with your iPhone or your Android device or via the web app. But it's just another way to kind of keep this technology relevant and it's, it's Philips' way of making their technology stand out amongst a lot of copycats, basically. Um, so moving on from lights, I want to talk to you about toilets. Now this is probably the most high-tech toilet you will ever come across, ever. Now to most people, a toilet is just a toilet, but to Toto, it is a high-tech, sci-fi controlled machine with controls on the side that basically mean you don't need to use loo roll and it will save you a lot of water. Now I must admit, the first time you use one of these, it's a little bit scary. You can hear some kind of whirring going on underneath you. You're not really sure what's going to happen. You're not even sure where the flush is, but you know there's no loo roll and you need to use it. And when you're in Korea and you're looking at foreign symbols, it's even more mind-boggling. But what I love about these things, they've actually grown on me. When I first tried it, I thought I'm never using that again. But they are really, really good. So what you can see here is a self-cleaning wand. Yes, when you've done your business, it will look after your business by giving you a little spray. And then it will dry you off after as well. You can actually set the level of pressure on, on the jet if you, if you want. Um, it's also got an air dryer, air deodorizer, an auto flush. It's even got proximity sensors. So when you go to the loo, you might be stumbling in the middle of the night, you get to the toilet, the lid pops up. If you're a dude, then the seat pops up as well, which Toto calls the marriage saver, because it goes back down afterwards. Because apparently, though, you know, it's the cause of a lot of arguments at home. But what you're looking at here is something incredibly high tech. If you're looking at that price, you know there is a lot of technology baked into this thing. But there's something that Toto is quite excited about. It's called the tornado flush. So a lot of their toilets are actually rimless which means no bacteria is going to build up underneath the room. You're not going to have to get the marigolds on and go scrubbing. It's basically got um, an, anti an antibacterial layer on the toilet. When you approach the toilet and the lid lifts up, it sprays a little antibacterial spray to make sure that nothing sticks onto the side of the bowl. This thing's got your back. It's got your back. And, um, it's a really, really interesting bit of technology. I urge all of you to go check it out. I think Toto are here at the tech box. I'm not sure if they've got a working toilet, but they've definitely got a Toto washer. Definitely worth checking out. And they do sit in the odd Japanese restaurant around the UK. So if you do happen to come across one, definitely hit those buttons. It will leave you feeling quite refreshed, if not a little violated. So now moving on from toilets to the world of smoke alarms. Now this is the Nest Protect. <clears throat> this is a Wi-Fi controlled carbon monoxide and smoke detector which is basically going to make your current smoke alarm look like a bit of a relic. Now you're probably wondering why on earth would I need a Wi-Fi connected smoke alarm? But the beauty is this thing doesn't beep at you kind of aimlessly and you don't know what to do, it actually talks to you. So I'm just going to give you an example of what it sounds like. Tell me if you can't hear it. Can you hear it? Fresh air. Now what you'll notice, you can see a red ring. 
when, it, when it flashes red, that means emergency, smoke, carbon monoxide, get out the house. If it's yellow, that means it's starting to maybe detect a little bit of smoke, a little bit of carbon monoxide, just to give you a pre-warning, rather than just blaring out an ominous alarm at you, and freaking you out, and you don't know what to do next. But the beauty of this whole setup is that it all talks to an application. So let's say you do detect, or it does detect CO2 in the house, a lot of people don't know what to do next. The application will walk you through a series of steps and essentially hold your hand so you know exactly what to do. There's no room to panic and there's no room to kind of elbow pushing people out of the way because let's face it, people do get a little bit selfish in the moment of emergency. Um, now talking about still staying within the realm of NEST, I want to talk to you about their learning thermostat. Now a lot of you maybe don't know this but um, heating accounts for 60% of your average um, home energy bill. So something like this basically learns your cooling and heating habits, give it a week, and within that time it's able to then set up a schedule for you and follow all the actions that you've done a previous week. Now you can interject at any time, but the beauty of something like this is it's so sophisticated that it's able to tell you when you've saved money, how you've saved money, and why. And equally, it will tell you if you've overspent, why you've overspent, and what was the reason. So for example, you turn up the energy, you turn the heating up on, on one particular day, it knows that's because it was a particularly cold day and it will break all that data down into a graph, into readable data that you can access via your application to basically keep a nice stranglehold on your energy, um, your energy bill, work out how to save money, where you can save more money and how you can basically have the most more energy efficient experience in your home. This is the world's first interactive internet connected bed. Now you're probably thinking why on earth would I need something like that? But it connects to your tablet and smartphone, and the reason being, you can control the firmness of your mattress. And I'm not just talking about the whole mattress in its entirety, you can basically focus on different elements of the mattress. Some of us do have to share a bed, maybe one person on the left wants it to be firm and solid, the other person wants it to be soft and a little bit more warmer. You, talking of warm, you can also set the temperature of different parts of the bed. It's also got massage functionality built into it as well. No medium high, you can massage yourself where you go to sleep, maybe you're reading a book, you've got a backache, for whatever reason, the built-in massage functionality will make the whole sleeping or laying down in your bed process just that little bit nicer. Now what you can see here are small foam air balls that ultimately contour to fit the shape of the person lying on in the same way that memory foam mattresses work. But the beauty of this is it's wired to all kinds of newfangled technology to make your bed the kind of place you never want to leave, which I don't want to anyway, so injecting tech into it is going to make it even worse. But it's not just about controlling your mattress, it's got ambient lighting built in, call of duty, you know, you fire the grenade that way, it's hit the enemy, the bed vibrates like a dual shock controller. It might upset your other half, but they can get out while you're playing a bit of PlayStation. It's just a nice little way, just inject a bit of fun into the bed. It's not cheap, as you can see, a thousand pounds, but a lot of non-techy beds are a thousand pounds, so you may as well spend the extra cash and have this high-tech bed experience. Now what you're seeing here is um, an automatic stand that you can um, lodge your tablet or your e-reader into and basically have a hands-free reading experience with certain devices, so maybe not e-readers because they're not quite techy enough, but there's um, gesture control technology built into that frame and you can browse through your photos or your movies or whatever hands-free while laying in your bed and if you fall asleep it shuts it all down for you so you're not wasting electricity and the future of this thing so beluga the guys behind beluga want to create all kinds of devices like burglar alarms um, so for example you're sleeping and talking of technology that's a bit strange and you wouldn't expect in certain devices check this out this is the scanomat top brewer never will you ever get a sophisticated co uh, sophisticated cup of coffee as this i actually went to apple's um offices the other week and no surprise these things are littered all over the place basically you're looking at a six thousand pound device that can um, blend the beans for you, it will foam milk, it will basically allow you to customise a cup of coffee exactly how you want it. If you like it milky, go for it. Foamy, go for it. No milk at all, completely up to you. Macchiato, cappuccino, this thing will do it in under 45 seconds. It really is sophisticated. If you ever get the pleasure of using one, I guarantee making a cup of coffee will never, ever be the same again. I don't even drink coffee and I want one of these things. That's how cool they are. Um, but if this is a bit too expensive for you,
But the beauty of Pure's system, Pure's Jumbo system, is the S3. So while a lot of multi-room systems you have to plug in and keep them stationary in a certain position, this one is actually wireless. I can take this from the garden and still enjoy that multi-room setup when I'm at home. But if I don't want this, this functionality, the T2 speaker is basically the same version of this, but it saves you 40 quid if you don't want that portability. It's just basically adding a more versatile nature to this multi-room audio setup. And the thing, the fact that you can uh, pump music from your tablet, your iPhone, from streaming services like Spotify, Audio, Last FM, means you can really get a lot of mileage out of this thing. If you're not into music, you can stream podcasts around the room as well, or around the house. It really is a sophisticated bit of technology. In fact, Pure here at the moment, they are that away by the tech box in the top corner. Really go and check them out if you're really thinking about taking that first. And finally, I want to do a bit of future gazing. Can't talk about tech without looking way into the future. And this is a little bit creepy. This is the MAB system. This is the result of a competition hosted by Electrolux to basically come up with new fan tech for the home. So what you're seeing here is a spherical hub that houses hundreds of robo-cleaning insects with solar-powered wings that collect energy as they're cleaning. But the idea is you hit that button, off they pop and clean every nook and cranny of your house. And that's about as much information as they're willing to give us. Personally, I'm seeing a few flaws in that, but if the idea is as sophisticated as Electrolux are claiming it is, imagine just being able to clean your house with robot insects. I kind of hate normal insects. I'm not sure how I feel about letting off a, a swarm of robot creatures in my house, but I can leave the house, it's fine, and I'll come back and my house will be clean. So it'll be interesting. In fact, I'm really intrigued to find out if this kind of technology is actually going to make it into fruition. Because if it does, you can sign me right up. Um, and that's it from me. So thank you very much for listening. And I do apologise in advance if you go home and your current setup feels a little bit primitive. It's fine. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the show.